Hi everyone, it's April here and I finally have a sketchbook tour. I finished the sketchbook last night. Uh, it's just a regular old sketchbook from Ryman, which is a stationery store in England, and a little sticker there from Frannard when I got her, her last book that she did. So this is sketchbook number 10 since I've been drawing for like the last couple years. And started it in July, the end of July, and finished it yesterday, so it's taken about four and a half months. Uh, it does some ink stuff here, but there's not actually much stuff in here apart from pencil drawings because the pages are quite bad. I'm just going to skip the first few pages because I copied a few artists' poses from Instagram when I was trying to get my poses a little bit more interesting, so I don't want to show them online because they're not my artwork. But these are some little poses I drew myself, just from imagination I think, and these are some that I copied from online. And I was trying to really get my poses down at this stage. I think the whole stage lasted three days, so it wasn't a very long stage. Um, and then I randomly decided to draw some tigers, which turned out pretty pretty bad, I think. I don't know, I didn't like them at the time, I don't really like them now either. But I do a lot of animal drawings later on and I definitely have improved, which is pretty cool. And then some life drawing. I also do a lot of these little doodles all throughout. I'm trying to kind of stylize faces and come up with my own kind of cartoony style. So that's something I want to do next year as well. And then this little one here I actually took into Procreate and made into a digital illustration. Some random, uh, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what she's doing there. So I tried to kind of fill in lots of the pages with these just practicing. This one looks like a really old haggard witch. She's kind of scary. And then I had some spare paint so I just popped some paint down and did this little portrait over it which I really like. I think it looks pretty cool. This is actually when I started really getting into coloured pencils. So I started using all my coloured pencils to sketch with and this is this entire sketchbook is just literally coloured pencils. Um, some more people practice. And then this here is when I started a challenge to use all of my coloured pencils, which I have another video about, I'll link it. So I did all my swatches, a little random sketch that I also turned into a digital piece. And then here begins the uh, sketches. So you might have seen some of these before if you've seen my pencil video, so I'll just go through them quite quickly. This challenge was basically just to go through every single set of pencils that I own and test them all out and see if I like them, which ones I like the most. It was really fun. Um, since then I've also brought a 120 pencil set of Faber-Castell pencils and I haven't used them yet actually. I think it's because they're so fancy I don't quite know what to do with them. So I think that was the end. So little doodles here. Um, I stuck this paper in. I actually got really bored of this paper. It's quite, it's not like the best paper in the world. This one here I made into a little digital piece as well. And then here starts Inktober. So I did endangered animals for Inktober. Um, you may have seen some of my ink drawings, which include some of these sketches. But I'll just go through them again. This one here, I was like, I never did mermaid, I'll just draw a mermaid. I tried to make it look like the seahorse, which was quite fun. So like I was saying, this paper is really bad, it absorbs markers, it absorbs ink, watercolour, it tears the paper up, you can't use Posca pens on it. So I did a lot of pencil sketches in it. I like this one, tattoo on head, it's cute. So a lot of pencil sketches, um, and by the end I was, I'm not bored of pencil sketches, like I'm actually really enjoying using coloured pencils. but. I definitely want to use a mixed media sketchbook next so I can get my hands on some watercolour and some markers and even some Posca pens. So for Inktober I basically just sketched out my little animals every night and then drew the ink drawings from my sketchbook. So they were kind of all a little bit stylized. That's one thing that I'm going to try and do next year is to really stylize my drawings because I'm never going to be a photorealistic drawer. like. I do not have the patience for it and I don't really want to do that. I want it to be more fun. So that's my goal, make it more fun. 
this is a cute little image that I did for one of the scroller boxes because I was drawing whales um, that month and it just got in my head so I drew these little like cartoony whales here that was really fun and the cats were the worst animals to draw during Inktober they were so difficult but like here for example this is my tiger page and if we go back to the beginning you can see the difference like I definitely improved so that was really fun when I drew those tigers and I realized that they weren't that hard to draw they're still very difficult though so we almost come into the end of Inktober now onto the African animals Elephants are a lot harder to draw than you would expect as well. And butterflies. They seem so easy, but I don't know. You can't quite get like that majestic winged feeling from them as a sketch. And the sloth is not the last one. Oh, we're still going. Giant Panda is the last one from my Inktober sketches. So lots and lots of pages of animals there. And then after the animals, I decided to go back to people. And I did this little challenge, blind contour faces, where I had been drawing these sketches at work out of boredom. And I decided to turn those little sketches into characters, which I also have a video of. And these are the original post-its here, the ones I did. Some of them at work and some of them here. Actually, no, I did all of these at work. <laughs> what a way to waste five minutes. I'd highly suggest it if you're bored at work one day. Or school. And then I decided to jump back into people again and parts of people because I had neglected them over Inktober. So some feet sketches here. Using um, a really cool four-leaded pen from pencil from Paper Chase. I really love to use because you don't know what color is going to come out and then I did some more little doodles and I did this little portrait of um, Liz V Art who has a YouTube channel here on YouTube duh and I'll pop that link below too and then here's some little squirrels that I drew um, I've been getting back into running recently and the squirrels are in full force getting them nuts so they're so cute I just had to try and draw them <laughs> this one here, this little face. Ooh. And this is where I got my Faber-Castell Polychromos 120, so it's a little swatch page. So many colours, I don't even know where to start with them. And I did these, I actually really wanted to draw a girl in a winter coat, so I did this for my head. And I was like, that doesn't look th that good. So I did one from reference and it's crazy how much detail is in the fabric and the folds and the way it moves on the body. It just goes to show like reference really does help. And then this is a little fun exercise I like to do sometimes where I just pop um, some paint down or Posca pens and then I try and practice different hairstyles because I get stuck at hairstyles so much I never know what type of hair to draw on people. So I find that really helpful to do that. Some more ladies in winter coats and some more like doodles just to fill up the pages. Just trying to practice like different eyes and hairstyles again. I quite like this face here. I'm not quite sure about how big the eyes are in all of these. Some of them are a bit, a bit random, but I'm going to keep working on it. We'll get there in the end. And then this is me getting really bored of pencils and deciding to use watercolour. So you can kind of see this paper doesn't really fit watercolour very well. And here I whited out the hands because they were so bad. And then to punish myself, <laughs> I decided I had to fill up an entire page with hands. Which isn't like the most crazy worst punishment ever. It could have been noses. But hands are quite difficult to draw for me. So you got to practice those as well. And then I missed drawing animals so I decided to draw some little chickens. And I really love this page. I used a Posca pen here just as like a colour block but it's not the best paper for it. It kind of tears it up a little bit. I got these pencils in a scroller box. They're pink, blue. Oh, here's one. Pink, blue and purple. And I'm obsessed with them. I have been drawing in those colours for the last week. So some face practices. I really like how this one turned out. 
And then the next one was um, I drew this face, I think. And oh no, I drew this one first. This is number one. So I drew this face and I decided I wanted to try and stylize it. So I basically drew this one and then you can kind of see like I just drew different example different variations of it to try and get it more stylized. And then I did it again over here. So like different face shapes, like this one's a bit longer, this one's a bit shorter, this one looks like a zombie. So I took that idea a little bit further. This is a Tess Holiday. Tessa Holiday? Tess Tess Holiday lingerie shot. A bit risque. Some little uh, birds. I forgot the name of them. Um can't remember. So this is the page I was going to talk about next. So I took the idea further of the stylization and decided to do a few more faces. So I drew this face here, um, kind of in my, I guess, natural, it's not really style, it's just my way of drawing faces right now that comes naturally to me without thinking about it. And then I decided to try and stylize this, this sketch. So not looking at the reference, just looking at the sketch. And I really love how these turned out. This one here, I'm not quite in love with but I really love this one and this one and this is kind of a style I want to move towards a little bit. It's quite difficult drawing the eyes for me though. I don't want to make them too realistic but I don't want to make them too cartoony so it's kind of like a, a line. And then I tried to use my Fusca pens again so here they don't really, this one here doesn't even work this grey one anymore but they're not the best on this paper. They're so much fun though like I love the colours so I really want to use them in my next sketchbook. And then this here is kind of similar to that hairstyle one I did, but instead I just make little faces out of the Posca doodles that I put on the page. I love this one here, a little like upturned nose, she looks so posh. And then I drew some mushrooms while watching a terrible film on Netflix that I just couldn't stop watching, it was so bad. It was a friend request, a terrible horror film, my word, it was bad. And then... I have been watching a lot of um, like YouTubers that do really cute stuff, like Sarah Sarah Faber, Sarah Faber. I think that's how you say her name, and also Catnip Illustrations, and they do like the cutest little illustrations. So I decided when I was cooking dinner the other night to like sketch all the little things on the counters. So got like a weight here and a sponge and my narwhal cup and my the favorite thing is the little scrubby brush to do the dishes with. And it was really fun. I never really do anything like cute like that. So it was a blast. And then I was watching someone else. Um, I'll pop them below. I've forgotten the name of them right now because I just found them. But they had an Okapi or an Okapi uh, sketch they were drawing. And I was like, what is that animal? I didn't, I've never heard of it before. So I looked it up and I had to draw some because they're really cute. They have these like weird zebra patterns and antlers and these huge ears and like the longest tongues known to man. And then we're almost at the end now so I was kind of running out of ideas and I just wanted to blast through the sketchbook. So I went back to the old, the old faithful portrait. I really love how this hair turned out, it's so raggedy. And then this is the very last sketch I did. I did this one a while back. This is one of the first ones I did. It's a a little digital thing again, I'll pop it on screen. So this is the actual last sketch I did. And the rest of the pages are pretty anticlimactic, I'm sorry. There's like some thumbnails for an idea I had and some notes. So yeah, that is my sketchbook tour. Lots of pencil sketches, lots of animals and little doodles. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna be doing for my next sketchbook, but hopefully it won't be too long away. Hopefully I can finish it in less than four and a half months this time. So I hope you enjoyed that sketchbook tour and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.